So much of what happens in education is we stay in this theoretical space of we have these ideas and we often shelf them. Starting off with the ideation process starts with identifying the problem. Mentors serve as people you can bounce ideas off. They help you refine your ideas and your thought processes. In Africa, women are often bound to carrying water for tens of miles. We wanted to address this problem by making clean water accessible. I was showing my prototype, which, call, which is, I called the white tile, which is kind of like an insulator roof shingle hybrid that theoretically would reduce the internal temperature of a home in a developing nation by 30 to 40 degrees. Currently, the whole process of buying a winter coat every time a child outgrows their previous one is expensive and wasteful. My project is a winter coat that is expandable. It grows with the child. Building a, a lot of different models is just a really great way to understand how real life products can work. We used a computer assisted design software, CAD, to design and scale this product, understand the filament and the cost and the material used. We were able to then analyze if the sizing was correct. You learn a lot more doing it than watching videos, watching someone else doing it. This is like industrial level equipment. This machine is the Epilog Fusion Laser Cutter. It essentially uses laser and fire to cut through materials. I love Arduino, which is a little microcontroller computer that you can use to make things light up and move around. It's really amazing just to be able to like conceptualize something and then to be able to like see it manifest right in front of your eyes. We're finishing up our prototype right now. It looks really easy, but we've made a lot of mistakes. Learning how to fail is important because in many situations we're perfectionists, or I at least am, and then that reframes me of doing something that you know is risky. Accepting how to fail will help you move on further and faster after failing. Our first prototype was definitely not anything that was great. We learned a lot from that, and our second prototype right now is working pretty well. So I think just getting down and doing it and then making mistakes and then starting over and keep doing that and then you problem solve and then you iterate. It's now like a really big focus of mine in finding solutions that are for the social good.